I never had a dream come true until the day that I found the Morty Mansfield Show on YouTube. That's right, welcome back to the Morty Mansfield Show and what I'm going to do today is... So I went the other day, didn't I? I went and I got a sausage roll um, from Britwell Sloan Farm Shop and I've got to say that that... I made a claim and I said, I think that's the best I've ever had. And I stand by that. But I did also challenge myself. I said to myself, well, you know, you've got to give everyone else a chance. Um, so someone said to me, there's a particular baker, and there's loads of them about. They're a mainstream um, little bakery outlet. And I'm going to go there and I'm going to try a sausage roll that... I'm not holding out a lot of hope for, but I'm going to try it anyway, because I believe in giving chances in life. I believe everybody needs a chance. And again, this is a, a well, I'll take you there and show you it. Right, okay, so we're here. I'm just going to go in there and I am going to buy a so-called sausage roll. And I'm going to compare it to that that once again that epic one I had the other day and we're gonna see we're gonna see if it's any good um, you know some of my mates have told me to try this one and see what I think and I think they're quite interested um, so I'm gonna go get that and then we'll have a go on it right so here we go I've gone and got it I've been told um, that this is nice um, it is a meat free variety and I'm going to compare it to that, that Britwell Salome uh, sausage roll I had the other day. So let's have a look. Oh, it's upside down. That's not a very good start, is it? <laughs> so let's have a little look. See what we're looking at. Well, it's got a strange smell straight away. And got strange pastry on it what I go through for you lot right let's have a go let's see what we think so this is a plant-based sausage roll um, let's see honestly it's not bad it's not too bad but as with a lot of meat free products has this lingering weird taste at the end and um yeah yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest eating that um you know again like like i say i don't really understand i understand if you don't want to eat meat and i totally um i'm totally with you on that if you don't want to eat it don't eat it and it's, it's that's your right not to eat it but what i don't understand is trying to replace trying to replace meat products with meat free products if you don't want to eat meat then why do you want something that's apparently got the same texture to it and, and flavour I don't I don't understand that um, that's really weird so what do I do with this what would you do with it if you just ate it I know the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my shoe. Right, so that left... That left quite an unpleasant taste in my mouth in the end. It, it, was, it lingered it, and I can still taste it now. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. If you don't want to eat meat, don't eat it. You know, I've got nothing against that. Um, but I have got things against products that pretend to be something they're not, you know. And I, like again, I've said before, I just don't get it. Um, now, the other thing is, my last plant-based review, I took a bit of stick for. So, I've got one thing to say to you, because I'm going to get it again. I know it. I already know it. So, I've only got one thing to say to that. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> now, I would just like to add that when I went in that place, I thought, 
I already knew that it wasn't going to be a bit, uh, the best experience in, in the world. So what I did, I thought, I'd buy myself some chicken and vegetable soup to cheer myself up with afterwards. Well, I'll show you it. Look at the state of that. That's stone cold, it's congealed, and it's absolutely, and it's absolute rubbish. Look at it. So I feel after after experiencing that chicken and vegetable soup, I would just avoid the place completely. Um, the only decent thing I got out of it was the um, the free sauces that came with it. So I wouldn't be going back there. But um, like I say, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I'll catch up with you when when we got the caddy back on the road, hopefully. And um, yeah, cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.